What's going on everyone? This is Larry the Lone Wolf howling through the vast wilderness of the internet once again with a quick video that I want to do a little fun reaction video to and this is a fan made concept trailer of Need for Speed Underground 2 which was one of my favorite racing games growing up and a game that I honestly uh, have been replaying recently and I would love to do a stream to it but we're not going to waste any time we're just going to dip straight into this trailer and see what it looks like Special shout out to the bull, Captain Skyhawk, for uh, linking me to this. It was remade in Unreal Engine 5, and my god, it looks. The Ruby! That's the Nissan 350Z. That was the one that Rachel Teller used. Well, it, um, it doesn't look quite the same, but... Bro, it's got all, like, all the familiar vehicles and everything. Dude, the way, the, the way it looks visually is impressive. Like, Unreal Engine 5 is clearly, like, one of the most powerful engines of our time. Especially with how Tekken 8 came out. We all know how great that looks. Could you imagine, though, if EA actually did remake Underground 2? Even though I know that's never gonna happen. I would love... Need for Speed Underground to get remastered. They remastered Burnout Paradise, but they never remastered Need for Speed Underground. That's criminal. I personally think it should happen. But the detail is so intricate. Like, it's... It's actually insane how... It's insane how the detail is. That was great, honestly. First of all, whoever made this trailer did a really good job with the modeling and the texturing and the, the graphics and all that stuff. Like, obviously, it's just a fan trailer, but the, f but the fact that it looks this good is insane. Like, the modeling of the cars and the environment and everything, the ray tracing, the lighting, it all looks... It, it, it looks really, really good. And the fact that this was done by a fan is, is saying something. Like, this is something that I could imagine Need for Speed Underground 2 would look like if it was remade. Like, I could totally see, like, the, the, realistic, the realistic art style or graphical style that most other racing games still, you know, they do nowadays. And racing games have always been known, especially sim racers, always known for... Having that realistic texture quality, which is the reason why games like Gran Turismo 4 was way ahead of his time. Like, that was like one of the few PS2 games that was like, you could put it in widescreen. Like, if you had a widescreen TV, you would be able to play Gran Turismo 4 in widescreen, and it would look great. It would be as if you played it on a PS3 or a PS4 or so on and so forth. And that, and that was on PlayStation 2. You know what I mean? So... Imagine what Need for Speed Underground 2 would look like with the white, which you can, because you got to remember that game also had a PC port, and if, and I believe, and I've seen people play Underground 2 on modern PCs like Windows 10, Windows 11, and they work perfectly well. I don't know exactly how they do it, but I've seen people do it. But Underground 2 easily, and here's some, and here's something I also got to say about. Uh, Underground 2. First of all, this game is easily and truly, in my opinion, one of the greatest racing games ever made. Everything from the graphics for the time and the the music, the like the soundtrack was very memorable, and the gameplay was way better than the first Underground. Even though I still love the original Underground, 2 improved on everything from the first game, and like literally, it took everything that was amazing about the first game but did it better. You know what I mean? The selection of cars, the customization was improved. 
Like, this game gave you a ton of freedom, and this is like the first Need for Speed game, and I think it was the only one, well, it was the first one of the series that gave you an open world that you could explore. So, I I gotta give credit to EA and Black Box especially, because they did, they did a really good job with Underground 2, and I personally don't think that we're ever gonna see another game like Underground 2, which is a shame, because... Underground 2, as you know, as I said earlier, is easily one of the greatest games ever made. Like, yeah, I'll go ahead and say it. I think it's one of the greatest games ever made. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Because everything everything about it, like I said, the music, the 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 gameplay, everything about it is just amazing, a pure spectacle. You know what I'm saying? This is a game that I sunk so many hours into as a kid. And to this day, I can come back to this game and probably still spend the same amount of hours I did as I did when I was a kid. Like as a kid, Need for Speed Underground 2 and Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition um, were the two racing games I put the most hours into specifically because of how immersive they both were, how much freedom they gave to the player, um, and all that stuff. And I personally think Underground 2 was the best that Need for Speed could do. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, it, it is true that most people would cite Most Wanted as their favorite uh, Need for Speed game. But you cannot deny that without Need for Speed Underground, we never would have gotten Most Wanted. That's just the fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we never would have gotten... We never would have gotten the most wanted if it wasn't for Underground. And two especially, if you have not played this game, my question to you is, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? What are you doing? You can easily... This game is on PlayStation 2, it's on GameCube, it's on Xbox, and it's also on PC as well. Like, you can... There's a there's plenty of ways to access this game, even if you have to emulate it or just download the PC version somewhere. Um, or if it's I'm not sure if it's on the Xbox Live Store with the other X, original Xbox games. I don't think it is, and that sucks. But um, but regardless, and also like I said, you can pick up if you have a PS2 still lying around, you can easily grab a copy of Need for Speed Underground 2 for maybe like 15, 20 bucks or whatever. It's, it, like, what are you doing? Buy this game. Go ahead and play it. You're going to have a fun time. Trust me. I've actually had the fortune of growing up with this game as a kid, but I can assure you that this is not a game that's great based on nostalgia. This is a game that's just great for anyone who loves video games or racing games in general. So please give Need for Speed Underground 2 a go. I highly recommend it. And that's really all I have to say. I just wanted to give my reaction to this Unreal Engine 5 video, which, as I said earlier, looks really good, considering that it was done by a fan, and it looked like it runs smooth, and it looks great, and all that stuff. Um, and I just also wanted to very quickly, you know, share my own personal memories of uh, Underground 2, which I want to do and, and go deeper into in a future video. But for now, this is just a taste of what's to come. But in any case... I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.